Good luck. Have fun, everybody. Let's go in. Let's get in here. Let's get it going. All right. Oh, yep. There was sad. He was in there. I don't know where. I don't know where he. I don't know where he got to. Where he came from. But he's in there now. Fair enough. Right. Pretty much ready to go, I guess. In that case. Yep. And we are off. All right. So interesting to, to see. To <laughs> two. So it's two NA teams. Sad Junior off the bat. So two NA teams. So no server issues. No nothing crazy this time around. Uh, it's just two good old. Rocket League and playing things happening at the same time right now. So let's go. You sounded just like I've done for most of this stream. Then. So I well done. I couldn't I couldn't think of like a proper weird witty thing to say. So I just let syllables come out of my mouth. Cronovi in the center. Lachino knocking it straight back out. And it looks like it's going to be a lot of just back and forth until someone can find an opening somewhere. Uh, Cronovi basically passing it off the wall to himself. You know, like he always does. And then you have... <laughs> Do you need teammates when you're Cronovi? Well, you know, you, he needs teammates to sit around and tell him how good he is all the time. That is that is his thing. He doesn't need to be told that he's good. He just really, really likes it. Uh, so <laughs> let's actually jump over to Cronovi right now and see how, um, how untethered is playing knowing the style that Cosmic has, right? Like, they have played each other enough times at this point that they know how to kind of prepare for that... The Sad and Cronovi together with the way they shoot. Gibbs being a defensive powerhouse. I think the hitbox for his car is the size of the goal anyway. Like, there's a lot There's a lot of things. Uh, not necessarily suspect about Cosmic Aftershock, but things that make you think that they're just OP by default. So we have... Although they did go out really early yesterday in MLG, right? So what they does did. that mean? In the first round to Kings of Urban. So well, what does... Have to wonder, did the pressure just get to them? Because there was a lot of money on the line in that. I think it was 1500 for first place and then so much for um, second and third. So I'm just wondering, Kings of Urban have taken them before, but I don't know, did the nerves get to them? Did they just think, oh, we've got this, and then kind of didn't fully bring out the show, I suppose? Although, granted, and this was a relatively large weekend uh, as far as events are concerned. It looks like Waffles... Scoring off of Gibbs? Where was Gibbs? That is very unusual for Gibbs. Oh, it looks like Sad, looks like sad just threw an interruption, yep. Because yeah. Gibbs would have been there to knock it away, but it looks like Sad just um, being maybe a little bit overzealous, jumping in front of it and letting, uh, letting Waffle score on that. But it looks like it's going to be that for the next three games, though. It's going to be a lot of just capitalizing on a mistake, because you are not, we whether or not your shot goes 400 miles an hour or not, you're not getting it past them if they're ready for it, if that makes sense. Like that, it's going to be a lot of capitalizing on mistakes, trying to make mistakes happen, and Pluto with a really nice aerial shot back into the zone. Looks like Gibbs is going to be there to knock it straight back out again anyway, and Lachinio. Lachinio knocks it over almost all of them. Sad's going to try and come around and get rid of it. He does. And now the ball's floating up near the VQ goal. And Sad into an open net. Goal, now that, that is the thing with Untethered that is a little bit disconcerting when it comes to playing in their zone. They all tend to be a little bit aggressive to positions. It's not necessarily always to the ball. Lachinio tends to be reactionary, going, hey, if one of my teammates are going to get there, well, then I want to be on the receiving end of that ball when it gets down. But they don't tend to, to play back just in case someone else beats them there. So that could could cause some problems for them in the long uh, in the long term here in this tournament. Absolutely. Right now, the ball's floating into the center of the goal. Pluto gets there before... Decent Pluto on center. And it's straight in. From midfield at that, and that was, that's actually extremely impressive. From where he was at, dead midfield, just over top of Cronovi, Sad wasn't quite there yet, and Gibbs just missing it. Getting caught, looking for boost. So that is, and that, 2-1, VQ, not really, not ready to kind of put my, put my bets on one or the other just yet. It looks like a lot of still feeling each other out, seeing where, where they're at as far as their play styles are concerned for today and all that. And uh, Waffles with a decent clear. And they have certainly still go either way. We know both teams have got the quality to do spectacular things, and they can easily bring back a one-goal deficit. Yeah, and they have... So and they have the drive to make sure that it, actually, that it actually gets pushed through, right? Like, they have the drive to go, oh, man, we're down by a goal... Let's just make sure nothing goes into our goal and put it into their goal right now. Like they, it seems like they can turn it on when they have to, and that mm. 
Granted, why wouldn't you have it on all the time? Oh, because well, we're going to waste the batteries. We only need to turn it on when we absolutely need it. And it looks like Kronovi, after the decent setup from Sad, but Pluto's already back there, ready for it. And Sad passing back to Kronovi again. A little bit too high, and Sad's still there. No. That was two shots in a row. Those two shots in a row, they're both going a little bit high. I don't know if that's that's them playing, leaning a little bit too far forward. Nice redirection by Kronovi. I did notice in the MLG yesterday, a lot of shots were going off target. Again, I don't know if it was the pressure of big finals or whether something has changed in the Rocket League scene that just makes everybody miss. But a lot of players were missing shots that they really should have put in. And possibly the same is happening here. Not necessarily should have put in, but they possibly should have done better. Gibbs with a good save from Goffles. Okay. Yeah, and there's a lot of... There's a lot. Of, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what they're, what uh, what Sad was doing. But there is a whole lot of kind of missing in any direction happening today. Even in the even in the previous match, like when you're at a, a kind of a slightly weird angle that you would expect. Oh, and Gibbs is so close. Come on, Sad. Oh, there it is. Finally, yeah, it's in. Oh, that was. That was a little bit stressful. And again, the bar, though. So any shots coming in for, like, one-time opportunities are a lot of... Um, is actually a... It's just barely off in any direction. And not all, all the time in, in like, upper-level play, you're not going to be able to follow up on that, right? You're, they're going to have it knocked away immediately. So you're going to see a lot more low-scoring games if people are a little bit, little bit less accurate. There's not going to be a lot of follow-ups. That was very close. what happened, though. The ball appeared to glitch off of the line. But never mind into overtime and is this the first game I lose track this is still the first game correct yeah, yep the first game seems to have been going on for quite a while compared to the other ones so VQ on the attack now but Kronovi's there to defend now Gibbs tries to go for it but ends up just kind of somersaulting underneath it still manages to knock it up but not quite as nicely as he would have hoped now the ball's floating dangerously but nobody's there Looks like he's setting up. Yeah, Kronovi should be there. Kronovi nope. With the shot. Is that in? That's in. Yes, it is. Top right corner. Three, overtime two, goal. Overtime. They take the first game. I'm hearing the cosmic aftershock text is slightly out of place. Oh no. I will. Let's oh yeah, it is. Oh no. I will go to that in one second. Bear with me. Is the length fine? Because I'm sure we can make it cosmic if needs be. Nope, it's... There we go. We're good. Now it's all fixed. Sorry, everybody. That probably looked really weird. Yeah, I was not... I was not planning on the location of their particular uh, name being on the orange side. I actually planned for cosmic on the left, but I had swarm gaming on the right when I originally set up the, uh, the scene. So I apologize for that, guys. Uh, you can... I'm sure you'll be forgiven in the fullness of time one day. <laughs> yeah, you can, uh, you can tell me how bad I am as much as you want, please. I appreciate it. Yeah, please do <laughs> complain away because I'm not checking the chat. <laughs> oh, Gibson Sad Jr. are gone. I'm not entirely sure what's happened to it. Yep. They've all gone. So we're actually going to restart the match. So I'm going to jump to an, another screen here in a second. And we're going to jump out of the match and jump back in with um, another one. Well, you know what? I forgot. I don't have to put in any server information for this one. So, we are back! Hey, look at that. It was such a super short break. But we're going to jump right back into another game as soon as they change it around. Indeed. Has Sad Junior disappeared? Again? We got um, the invisible Sad Junior. Invisible, oh. but deadly. I have a feeling he's just not in here. Like, I have a feeling that he is adding, he is being added in a private party at some point. But we are just waiting for Gibbs to restart the uh, the server and everything. Or, yeah, to restart the match and everything. Okay. On the subject of volume, Chewy, apparently you should turn yourself down so that people can turn both of us up. I did just a little bit ago, but I can do it a little bit more if that is still a problem people are having. Bear with me just a few. Oh, no. <laughs> that 
tiny little me that I'm going to pin myself back up for just one second. That is that any better? Yeah. All right. There we go. We are beta testing Skype for live streaming. That is that is the thing we are doing today. That's You can tell we've prepared this perfectly. Yeah, this is on I almost auto joined a team. That would have been great. All right. Going back to what we were talking about earlier. Maybe we should just join the teams, make it a big four on four tournament. Yeah, why not? Whoever gets you lucks out. <laughs> well, that's not necessarily because I'm good. It's and it's also necessarily because you're bad. It's just because I'm terrible. Nah, I wouldn't say that. I'm not good. <laughs> I'm just not good. <laughs> so we're gonna jump on the. Uh, I hope MLG doesn't sue me with the Cronovi cam, right now. And there's Waffles Maybe. knocking it pretty close. Gibbs with a block, but Virginia. Ah, Cronovi with the save. And they're playing on their heels right now. 20 seconds into the match, and they are just deep in their zone. Yeah, and it's not letting up. Ugh. Pronovi's there again. Pluto now puts it in. Waffle. Is he going to get there? No, he can't quite make it. Kronovi is hunting for boost. Uh, let's jump over to Waffles, who is uh, falling back into his own zone. Kronovi puts it into the box. Almost goes to follow up his own shot, but there are just too many BQ players there. And Pluto with the opportunity to save it here. Very good save. And that was actually extremely good awareness on his part, knowing that the ball was going to be just a little bit too high and not putting himself Ooh, out of position it. before he gets there. Not with a shot per se, but certainly an attack. Um, apparently there's no overlay on the stream now. Oh no, no overlay. On the subject of beta testing. Hey, hey, there it is. Hey, Buffles knocks it up into the corner of the Cosmic Box. Cosmic, just trying to get rid of it. Gibbs puts it into the BQ half. Now they're just playing ping pong. You guys complained about the fact that it was outside of the box, so I turned it off. No, I, uh... This is our team that are complaining about all this. Oh. Hey. Well, Twitch chat, I still love you. So, <laughs> we're watching Waffles right now, and it's it looks like it's a lot of kind of just back and forth. They're getting very close. And as you say that... So yeah, getting <laughs> getting very, very close... It's just when they're when they're there and it would be going in, the other team is really making really good saves. Uh, not not your everyday saves either. Uh, but when they're when the team isn't even there and it's relatively open net, it's just slightly off target. And Waffles knocking it deep deep into the zone. It looks like all three members of Cosmic are really close together, which is kind of unfortunate if if Untether were able to capitalize. Lachinio with a really decent save. Kurnovi knocking Lachinio out of the way, saying, "Hey man, get out of here." Balls bouncing around in the corner. Um, we've been informed that we should go to TeamSpeak because this is not in any way working because I'm apparently not audible at all. Oh I no! Literally cannot hear me. Oh no! So really? I'm, I'm just gonna say everything that I want to. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. But all right. We well, could do after whatever. after this match, we'll jump over to TeamSpeak. Uh, it's gonna take about a minute or two to jump over there just to make sure that that will actually. Uh, go through. Yeah, Skype apparently not the not the best thing in the world, as far Absolutely. as. Uh, um, Cloud just offered to sub for me, which I'd be more than happy to oblige with. Yeah, if Cloud wants to jump in, I mean he's already on the call. If he wants to jump in and actually start casting. Yep, yeah, I've invited him, and it doesn't matter what I say because you can't hear me anyway. Well, you can, but nobody else can, which appears to be the issue. Yeah, it's really weird that they wouldn't be able to because it's literally all my Windows audio that's coming out, and Gibbs right in front of the net. Knock it away, decent save. I apologize for not casting anything there. We were discussing technical issues. But uh, it looks like Lachinio keeping it in the zone and Pluto as well. Although, maybe a little bit back off. And Waffles keeping it just barely in the zone. Uh, and Waffles keeping it just back and forth. You know, straight across the map. Like, hey, someone hit it, please. And it looks uh, like Kronovi's going to be knocking at center. Hello, Cloud, if you can hear me. Not entirely sure what's going on at all. Yes, I believe I am here. Hey, Cloud, how you doing? You are indeed here. Hey. Big question is, can anybody else hear you? Can you hear me? I think we can all hear each other. Um, not sure as far as the rest of the chat being able to hear me. Um, but it sounds like we're having a lot of issues, so I just wanted to jump in and kind of try to help things out. Yeah. With this. Awesome. Raise your dongers if you can hear Cloud and Questfair in the chat. Um... So we have, and I haven't really called any of this because there hasn't been any scoring. We are literally almost five minutes through this game, 
uh, which is the entire game and no scoring at all. Uh, so we're looking. And that's gonna be very close. And Gibbs, oh, just barely bounces off of Gibbs. There's two quiet and one loud one. Okay. Sad thing is, had he not been there, that probably wouldn't have gone in. Okay. Uh, my second monitor just went down. Don't you just love that? <laughs> Lots of technical issues all around. So we're going to finish up this... <laughs> we're going to finish up this particular match, and we're going to go ahead and diagnose some of the uh, the microphone and sound issues that we're having here. But yeah, it's 1-0 uh, untethered. one nothing untethered. And that's actually going to put... Uh, the series at 1-1. So we know that Cosmic Aftershock is playing well, just not quite tip-tip-top because they're going to be going 1-1 here. Now, granted, they did get that advantage 3-0 in the first round because they did go uh, 2v3 in the first match. And this is up. And Lachinio shooting from really high. Oh, up. The and still there. Auto. Oh, no. oh Kronovi's taking it back the other way. If they can get this all the way in... Okay, Cloud is just as quiet as I am, so apparently there is an issue on Chewie's end, as far as I can tell. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and diagnose that really quickly. Um, I'm actually going to kick the stream over to another screen really quickly, and we are going to uh, let them know to give me just a sec. Alrighty, so... Yeah, Christian thinks Chewie's having problems. Hey, everyone thinks I'm having problems. That's not so a problem. So it sounds like the issue is that the master volume needs to go up and Chewie's individual volume needs to go down. My master volume is already as up as it's going to be. The OBS master volume? Yeah. Okay. And then your individual mic volume would need to go down. Because we can hear... I was listening to it before I joined in. I could hear Chris very quietly, but when I tune, when I turn it up, like I could hear Chewy just fine and Chris hardly at all. But when I turn it up to get Chris higher, then she was just way too loud. Right, I got so. it. I got you. So give me just a few seconds here. Do not start that thing. Yeah. Okay. Just letting them know. Also, all right. no game sounds, but that's probably something similar. Well, apparently, we're all able to be heard on stream right now. Yeah, no, that's that's going to happen. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> there's not really a way I can I can yank that specifically. I don't right. think. So going for Cloud, do you want to spectate and commentate? No, I don't mind either way. Yeah, I mean, if if um, if you want to kind of take over getting the scores and stats and everything put in, then um, I yeah, can yeah, that is definitely that. something we should get working on. So in that case, I'll if I can, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's go spectate and then leave match. Okay, so there should now be a spot for you. If Chewy or somebody can invite you, I don't remember the login details. Ah, uh, there were no login details. He needs to he needs to invite him. There you go. Ah, okay. Um, man, this is all. I should be a little bit better now, as far as sound is concerned. Now, I just need to make sure that this all sounds okay. Uh, which I will do in just a mo. Huh. Alright. So that is actually going to end up being good overall. Uh, once we jump back over. So we're going to do that right now. And that should... Once they get Cloud in here. So we've actually swapped uh, Quest Ferret for Cloud Fuel. He will be in here now. So, yeah, I'd, I'd rather not have to reboot the stream if we don't have to. Um, but, yeah, so this should work. Uh, it's a matter of just kind of moving around some some sliders, flipping some knobs, hitting some switches, like just hoping at a couple things, just hoping on a few things. Um, but we should be good there. Now, so we yeah, we should be good to go. Give me one second. Let me let Gibbs know we are good to good to go. I just need an invite to get in. Oh, you need an invite? No, oh, one second. No, invite club. 
Alright, you know what? I could probably invite you really quickly. Bear with me one second. Oh, no, I cannot do that. If you invite me to the party, I should be able to just join in. Can I even invite you to the party, though, at, the point? at this point? Apologies, yes, I can. that's my fault, because I'm still in the party, but I wasn't in the game. One second. We are gonna... And this game is starting, and everything is... Bad, sad. There we go. Everything is good. Now we're happy. And I think we should actually have decent sound at this point. Whoa. As I'm freaking everybody out. So, we are in game three. One, one, everything. And we are looking at... Bam. That one. So now we're in the flow of it. I apologize, everybody, for just how weird this whole thing has been. OBS is kind of new to me. I do apologize for that. But yeah, we are looking at uh, Waffles at the moment. 1-1. One, one. It actually went 1-0 last game, so there's been a lot less scoring. They only scored in the last 45 seconds there if you guys were a little bit too busy watching the early goal from Sad Jr. Let's look at this again. So they're playing at a much higher velocity now. Everything is exactly the same. Sorry, Twitch chat. We may end up having to restart the stream. That is going to be not fun. matchup so far um, you know each game being so close uh, such a defensive oh look there Cronovi's getting a score yeah it's hang in there it's Cronovi from kind of kind relatively straight on but it was a really smart choice for him to dodge the direction that he did to get behind Pluto the way he did yeah that was a great uh, great setup there actually by Sad Jr. popping it kind of to the middle yeah and then we're looking at from the outside of the map. One second here. Uh, and we're looking at Untethered again. Try this is just... It's a little bit insane to me how different these games feel. The first... Right, absolutely. The first game was very much, hey, we're trying to feel this thing out. Went to overtime. Great. Second match, literally no scoring until 30 seconds left in the match. This round... Kind of just scoring literally everywhere, and in situations that you would think someone would be there to defend, or in a situation with the first goal there that is kind of a weird, tricky shot to make. Yeah, absolutely. It seems like everybody's playing a little bit more aggressively, which inherently is going to you know leave you a little bit weak on the defensive side. So that may be where these opportunities are coming from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like Cosmic on the, on the attack again, and Sad just barely off top right and we're looking at waffles at the moment trying to get trying to help his team push it out of the zone looks like sad is knocking it back in and we're going to be jumping over to gibbs see exactly where he's at knowing that he's going to be in the back line pushing it back in it looks like he's actually in a bit more of an aggressive setup even though they are up by a goal but i think that's just to counter untethered's play because they tend to push and pull as threes which is not necessarily unusual in this game, but it is kind of weird at the upper level where you traditionally have that 2-1 rotation happening all the time. Yeah, it seems like there's there's a bit of a meta change. Um, I noticed with Flipside doing it mostly, and, and teams are starting to kind of emulate that, where everybody's rotating more so, so there's not really that 2-1. Um, you're getting more of a 1-1-1, a one, 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 essentially, uh, where you have one person attacking, one person supporting, and one person that's defending and pushing up, and then as that person pushes up, the front guy rotates back. And I'm seeing, in this particular game, Cosmic is starting to do that a little bit with... Gibbs mainly staying back, but pushing up as need be, and in, even in fact at this point, he's the he's the closest person to the opposing goal. Yeah, and it looks like it, maybe that's going to involve a little bit of changing going forward, but it's a lot of Gibbs might rotate from back to support after like Kronovi takes a shot and is kind of out of position. He'll come all the way back, and then Gibbs will replace, but it is going to be Sad and, and Crow that are going to traditionally be your shooters, and it's going to be that way for some other teams as well, but if you have a team with three really good shooters that can also defend, you're going to end up jumping back and forth constantly, and I feel like that might actually be the best case scenario. Looking at Kronovi at the moment, he's going to be knocking it down, and actually going on a decent break if he can knock it. Got it past Pluto, but can Sad... No, maybe not. Looks like he was knocked away by Lachinio, I believe that was, who we're going to jump to right now. And Kronovi knocking it back into the zone again. Yeah, 
Cloud, I think I completely lost you audio-wise. We are going to have to restart. Yeah, okay. So yeah, sorry about that. Just trying to update. Um, I'm watching the chat uh, while also watching the stream here. And, um, and it seems like my my volume is still too low. I'm not sure what's going on there. But, oh, wow, it looks like Pluto just got a, an equalizer there. So we're 2-2 uh, we're at this point with uh, Lachinio passing it up the middle and Pluto finishing it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's so – we're going to get the audio issues fixed at, fixed after this game. And I do apologize, everyone. Trying to get this thing sorted out before we get to Gauntlet. Um, and it looks like – yeah, we have Vanquish pushing again a little bit. And I don't know necessarily that Untethered is that is that team that's going to be extremely aggressive when they're tied. I feel like they tend to play for – not play for overtime, but they don't, they don't push their luck because they don't want to put themselves in a situation to be down and not potentially win it back in overtime. But they're sad – just slightly off center. And Kronovi again knocking it back in. And there's Pluto knocking it away. Let's jump over to Gibbs, who again is a lot closer than he normally is. We're used to Gibbs being this super defensive player. And here he is again with the ability to score, but just barely misses. And Lachinia was there as well to knock it away if he did get contact. Yeah, it looks like, in fact, that Gibbs tried to knock Lachinio out of the way. So a little bit of defensive maneuvers even on the offensive side, which is something that... With 10 seconds left. Kronovi with the score there. So yeah, let's look at this again. Aggression right there by Cosmic Aftershock. That is that is picture perfect teamwork. Kronovi knowing he had to knock it down to Sad, and then Sad knowing that he's not going to have the shot, so knocking it right back up to Kronovi uh, is a fantastic setup. So with three seconds left, it looks like we're not going to have much. Yep, there we go. And your winners of this particular round. It's going to be Cosmic Aftershock going 2-1 and making it, what is that, 5-1 for Cosmic in the entire tournament. And we will have the, uh, the new leaderboards here for you momentarily.